Hey, how's it going, YouTube? This is your boy Chosen, and welcome back to another discussion video. So lately, ever since Hokage Naruto's new transformation, people, including myself, have been pretty upset at Sasuke's new role as an MMA analyst. Because apparently, commentating is all he wants to do nowadays. With the new showing of Naruto's power-up, it clearly provides some exceptional power, even greater than Six Pat Sage mode, but at the cost of his own life source. Meaning that now, the difference between Naruto and Sasuke is like night and day. Sasuke has been getting clowned on by Ishiki, and the only time he really didn't Anything to him was back in chapter 37 when he kicked him out of a portal and ever since that chapter uh it's it's been ugly i think the hardest thing to see as a sasuke fan was ishiki putting his nasty ass bare feet that has been roaming around dirt on Sasuke's neck, and then summoning the blocks afterwards to try and crush him. I think I heard somewhere that Kodachi was heavily inspired by the Dragon Ball series, and honestly, I was kind of getting the vibes that Sasuke was low-key getting the Vegeta treatment. Now, with Kishimoto in charge, hopefully that changes. And one of the biggest changes that's being talked about lately is the possibility of Sasuke unlocking a second Rinnegan in his right eye. The biggest rumor that has been going around for quite some time is Tsunade giving Sasuke the Hashirama arm that could help him unlock his second Rinnegan. The reason as to why why this assumption started appearing throughout the Naruto community is based off of how Madara unlocked his Rinnegan. Black Statue stated that during Madara's battle with Hashirama, as Madara had fallen, he bit off a piece of his flesh and swallowed it. When Madara awoke, he threw it up and grafted it on his wound, which in time allowed him to awaken the Rinnegan. I am assuming people were basing this off of how Sasuke could potentially awaken a second Rinnegan by combining Senju DNA with Uchiha. The problem with this is even if it were to work, it would just be a regular Rinnegan unlike Sasuke's left eye, which is the sixth Tomoe Rinnegan. Sasuke awakened his Rinnegan, yes, through Hashirama cells by Kabuto, but also Six Path Chakra by Hagoromo, which played a big part in him unlocking the Tomoe. I'm just gonna say this now in case some of you don't make it all the way until the end. Personally, I do not think this would work as well as some people think. I do think Sasuke is better off with two Rinnegans compared to one, but personally, I do not at all think it's enough to put him at the same level as Ishiki and Naruto. Just wanna get this out of the way now in case some people get the wrong idea and imply that I'm saying Sasuke with two Rinnegan guns wouldn't work at all. It would, but not as well as people think, and well, let me explain why. The reason why I don't think this would work as well as people think is because, yeah, sure, Sasuke unlocking a second Rinnegan, even if it is a regular one, makes him more powerful, that's no question. But I just don't think he would be able to use two Rinnegans to its full extent. Sasuke's Tomoe Rinnegan is clearly stronger or just as strong as having two. And even then, he can't really spam certain Rinnegan abilities because it takes up too much chakra. An example is Sasuke opening up portals. One portal takes up about... I want to say 50% of Sasuke's chakra, which is why he can't use his ability during combat as a means of moving around the battlefield. He can only use this to escape or to travel if need be. Sasuke receiving Hashirama cells does boost up his chakra reserves, but not as much as people think. Obito's body contained Hashirama cells, but even then, there was no way he could handle the power of two. And even with just one, he never really used it to its full potential. What I'm trying to say is Sasuke receiving a new Rinnegan through Hashirama cells only would not be sufficient enough for him to use them both at its full extent. Unlike with his Tomoe Rinnegan, which he mastered only because of the fact that he not only received Hashirama cells, but half of Hagoromo's Sixth Path Chakra. If Sasuke were to unlock a second Rinnegan, it would most likely be similar to Madara when he was in Tentails form. When Madara was fighting Naruto and Sasuke with one, he was only able to pull out one Limbo clone, whereas when he stole Obito's Rinnegan and possessed two, he was then able to pull out four. Madara at that point was also able to use Catastrophic Planetary Devastation, which is a technique he couldn't use until again, he possessed two Rinnegans. And based off of this alone, Sasuke possessing two Rinnegans would most likely just give him a boost to his current abilities. Like I said before, with Madara's Limbo clones, he was able to summon three more when taking Obito's Rinnegan. So maybe for Sasuke, possessing another Rinnegan would allow him to not only switch places with one object, but allow him to switch two to four other objects together. And remember, this technique stated to be instant. It has proven to be useful many times in the series, and would definitely make Sasuke more agile around the battlefield. This could also apply to his other Rinnegan ability, like maybe creating a new planetary devastation, or hell. If Kishimoto wanted to, he could find a way to give Sasuke a new overpowered ability. But again, as nice as it is for Sasuke to perform more powerful attacks, he also isn't as durable as he is with just one. To be honest, this is pretty similar to Kakashi in a way. Kakashi as Okage is stronger than he was with the Sharingan, mainly because of durability. Yes, he did lose kinetic sight, but now he's able to perform way more techniques. And on top of this, instead of lightning blade, Kakashi has learned purple lightning, which is also a stronger attack that doesn't 
doesn't require him to use the Sharingan. Sasuke picking up a Rinnegan does make him more powerful, but at the cost of his attacks most likely requiring way more chakra due to how powerful they are. So these aren't attacks Sasuke can just spam. And on top of this, Sasuke loses the ability to perform Inferno style flame control in replacement of a Rinnegan. So Matarasu now isn't going to be as useful as it was before. He also loses everything the Sharingan gives its user because the Rinnegan does not give its user the abilities of the Sharingan. So for a second Rinnegan, Sasuke is giving up kinetic vision and the ability to freely control the black flames of Amaterasu into whatever he wants. Even, even if this does make him a bit more powerful, and let's just say he doesn't have to worry much about durability, it's still in my opinion not enough to match up to Baryon mode Naruto. Sasuke's physical feats aren't going to improve that much with just a Rinnegan. Naruto in Baryon mode was stated to be superior to even Ishiki. His speed is like none we've ever seen. And on top of that, he has tremendous raw power. Sasuke with two Rinnegans in my opinion does make him stronger, but limits him. If he doesn't get done what he needs to before he starts overusing his Rinnegan abilities, he's toast. With that being said though, I still do think Sasuke Sasuke, even if it's not enough to match Baryon mode Naruto in power, should still receive a pretty big buff. As for those who don't know, Kishimoto himself said that whenever one would receive a power up between Naruto and Sasuke, the other was sure to receive one as well. So even if it's not going to be happening anytime soon, hopefully Sasuke does get the power up he deserves despite what it is. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think Sasuke receiving a second Rinnegan through Hashirama cells would make sense? Or is there another buff you think Sasuke should receive? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd very much appreciate a like and for more discussion videos like these, hit that subscribe button. This has been your boy Chosen, and I'll catch you on the next one.